Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion Node Breakdown. Today's node is the Edge Detect node. And this is another DaVinci Resolve node available within Fusion. So we've got some uh, media here and we're going to add an Edge Detect. So Shift Space, Edge Detect. And what the Edge Detect node is doing is it's uh, isolating your high contrast boundaries of your image. So if I go ahead and play, you can see it's detecting the edges. So on our node, we have two modes. We have RGB and we have a grayscale. So the RGB is just automatically going to detect your RGB edges, whereas your grayscale allows edge color to be chosen as well as individual R, G, and B values. And within the detection, we have our edge width, so we can change the width of our edges. We can change the brightness of that detection area and the brightness of our edges. We can change the gamma. And we can blur. And down here we can uh, see an edge mask overlay so we can see what it's uh, doing and how it's interacting with our image there. Under filters, we have pre-process and half edges only. Under our pre-process and our default for pre-process is none, which means it's not going to process any filters. If we select filter, it's going to uh, change the scale of our noise within that image. So if we zoom in, we can kind of see uh, what that's doing to our edges. If we select flatten, it's going to uh, smooth out the areas of the image depending on how strong we make that flattened area. Under half edges, this is where we can either keep our light or keep our dark sides. By default, it's keeping both. But if I select keep light side, it's going to give me an edge gain slider so I can gain the edges of those light sides. Or I can select keep dark side. And it's going to keep the dark and still allow me to uh, change the edge gain of those dark sides. Under advanced options, we just have normalized per frame. That way, if our uh, image here has a little flashing from the edges being detected, if we select normalize, it's going to normalize our uh, edge detection. So we have less flashing. And clamp brightness is going to do exactly that. It's going to clamp the brightness of our overall edge detection. So use cases for this, um, other than the obvious, <laughs> creating edges on our images. You can use this for different things. So the other day we went over our detail recovery, and this is a free way to kind of do the same thing that our detail recovery node did in that single node. So if we wanted to, uh, say, add a blur, we could uh, blur our image a little bit to uh, give it some ethereal feel. And if we wanted to take this edge detect, uh, instead of doing the uh, color mode, we would do grayscale just so we could get some white images. And then from here, we could add a bitmap and turn this edge detection into an actual bitmap. So if we go to our bitmap and we use luminance, now we've got a uh, alpha channel on our edges. So we could take our blur and input this into our blur node. And you can see we're bringing some of those details back. So on our edge detect, we could play with the width to change the look. Change the brightness. And play with all your different settings to get the look you want to bring some of those uh, details back in in your lines and keep some of that softness in it. Additionally, when we use this bitmap, it comes in handy when we're doing uh, different things with, uh, say, masks or anything. So if I brought in a, let me just bring in a Lumicure. And let's go ahead and key out our 
footage. Let's bring this down. So we're just getting some of those blacks in there. If I bring this in and input it into our mat, you can see the potential of using this edge detect on mats to uh, kind of smooth out some of your edges. So if we go on the edge detect and we play with our edge width, you can see how that will help fix some matte issues if we ever have them, as well as your brightness and your blur to correct some of that stuff. So that is the edge detect node. I will see you in the next node breakdown.